this is this is also a very important tip, especially for those of you that that um, don't have work experience or might have what I refer to as tradition non traditional work experience. Like I forget your name. Ellie. Ellie. Okay. So what did I tell you? Right. It's about how we market ourselves. Super important. Okay. So. Ellie, you're a babysitter, whether family or whoever it is, but you're a babysitter. On your resume or on your LinkedIn profile, you're a child care provider. Because that's the professional term. That's what it is. Child care provider, that means you're a babysitter. Right? Okay? So, next. Any of you ever translated for your family? The minute I learned how to speak English, which was in kindergarten, okay, all of a sudden I became my parents' translator. I remember in elementary school during um, parent-teacher conferences, I'm sitting there, the teacher, my mom, my dad, and at the very end, you know, the teacher always asks, well, you know, can you ask your parents if they have any other questions? My dad, son, obviously in Spanish, tell her that she has my permission to spank you. <laughs> I'm like, this is America. That's illegal here. They can do it in Mexico, but not here, Dad, okay? No. Okay? Uh, All right? But if I was to put that on my resume or my LinkedIn profile, I'd be an interpreter or a translator. Okay? Also, my parents had a family business when I was growing up. And I helped in the family business. So guess what, depending on what my role, I would put on my resume or whatever, operations manager. Okay, now, this is how you describe your role, because now we also, your name it, excuse me. Now we gotta talk about how to describe it on a resume or on your LinkedIn. Let me show you an example. I did a, clear, a, a, a search on LinkedIn, and I typed in a job description for interpreter, translator, and this is what came up. And I highlighted, look what this highlight blue box says. Facilitate effective communication between two parties that do not speak a similar language by converting one spoken or written language to another. I'm like, Ooh, damn. I'm like, that's what a translator does. I'm like, that's what I did starting since I was a kindergarten. But the way they describe it here is like very professional. So guess what I would do? I would copy this on my resume or my LinkedIn profile. Because that's how you describe it. And that's okay. Yeah, because it's, it's the description. Yeah, I mean, we get a little bit however you want, but that's the wording right there. Okay, does it help? Yeah. 